The changes in the Arab world are significant for American foreign policy uh, for two reasons. First is I think it shows after 10 years that since the September 11th attacks that um, our national security policy can't be solely focused on counterterrorism. So in many ways, this sort of indigenous natural uprising in the Arab world made us also look around and say, wow, a lot's been going on and we better catch up. I think the, the second issue is it, it raises very complicated uh, international dynamics uh, that relate to the United States' interest in the Middle East. You have first Israel, of course, and the dynamics um, that are going on between the Israelis and Palestinians. Uh, but you also have what I have often called the sort of Cold War, we don't know uh, it's happening. And that is the power struggle, struggle between Saudi Arabia and, and Iran. And a lot of the Arab Spring, now that it's sort of um, a couple months later and you see what's going on. Uh, behind uh, the popular movements in a lot of these Arab countries is really a fight between uh, the sort of monarchies led by Saudi Arabia and, uh, and Iran and their government. And so you're seeing that dynamic played out. Um, and so we'll see how it unfolds um, for us and of course for the Arab people who are uh, wanting to promote freedom but also know that that promotion is quite dangerous in places like Syria and Libya.